Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday. Almost missed that. Monday, 11 11. Um, Sean is off at school. John went off to work. 125, doing well. I want to thank you all for um, wishing me well during my sugar roller coaster that day that I did the vlog. I really, really appreciate the well wishes and the prayers. Um, thank you so much. And right now, uh, I'm making my tea. I'm going to go do yoga and then I got to get dressed to go to the surgeon today. Matthew's taking me to the surgeon. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, yeah. So I finished yoga and now I'm showered and dressed. Athena was with me. And by the way, it's their birthday today. We got them on November 11th, 2017. So happy birthday, girl. She's my yoga cat. She does yoga with me. She's all tired out. That was a strenuous session. Um, but yes, I'm all dressed for the doctor's office. This shirt I got from Old Navy like two years ago. And then my pants are from H&M, which were super long. So I just raw hemmed it instead of paying more money to get them tailored or whatever. These boots I got like over a decade ago at JCPenney. Um, and this belt I got when I was... Um, I think I was like 22 years old when I got this belt from Old Navy. They don't even make belts like this anymore. I don't think it's real leather, but the ones they make nowadays are just crap. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I wanted to show you this. So when I went to the Renaissance Festival in May, you know, where I get my incense from, um, there's a crystal booth and I get crystals from my mom because she loves crystals. And then of course, because of my eye, he, uh, we were talking and I said, you know, what's the healing stone? So this, I, I bought this, uh, he gave me a different type of stone, um, some kind of super seven, but, um, this one is an aventurine. And he said, this is a healing stone and green for the heart chakra right on the heart. So I wear that every day. Yeah. And the super seven is like a, it has like a seven different minerals in it. Um, and then now I'm going to pick a scent. So John got me this for Christmas. I had gotten him a box for Father's Day and then he loved it so much he went through it and then I got him one for, for Christmas as well. But it's a, from Sephora. It's a, a perfume sampler set. You get like six, I think it's like 12 or 16 samples of all different fragrances and you get good size bottles too, you know, so they last you quite a bit and they're great to travel with. Um, and then you get a card inside that you redeem for a full size. So for 60 bucks, I think that was like, yeah, 50 or $60. Um, that's the cost of a full size one in general. And then you're getting to sample 16 selections. Um, I don't like the full size bottles because I don't commit to one fragrance. So, um, but I am going to redeem it, you know, Hey, it could be a Christmas gift for somebody if I don't want it that much, but otherwise I do enjoy this a lot. It's a great, great gift, give a uh, gift to give. And we got them for my mother and father-in-law last year for Christmas. Cause we liked it so much. And we thought that was a great gift for them. So I think, so I'm going to pick one. Um, I think I, I want Stella. I'm going to do Stella cause you get this card that gives you the fragrances. And I did, I put a star next to Stella, Stella McCarthy. So, uh, or McCartney. So I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, so, and then I'm going to get ready to go. Oh, Stella smells so good. It's going to be hard to pick one. Um, oops, switch hands. It's on my left arm. Got to get ready to go. 111, not bad. So I got my, oops, green tea. Finishing that off. And because my sugar's 111, I'm going to have my persimmon and maybe some cheese, cheese stick. Um, tonight for dinner, I took out a pork tenderloin. That thing is frozen solid. Put Should have put it in the refrigerator last night. I think I'm going to make this recipe from Sunny Anderson from the Food Network. It's uh, almost like that um, sausage with apple and onion. Sorry about that, my uh, phone. I needed to delete some files from memory. Um, but I'm going to make the pork tenderloin uh, to a Sunny Anderson dish where she did it with chicken. It was apples and onions um, and a, like an apple gravy. 
just like that sausage with apple onion gravy that I made from Publix. So very similar, but I'm gonna do it with pork tenderloin instead of sausage or chicken. Um, Matthew's driving me to Nashville. I have my surgeon appointment and I'll let you know how that goes. Here's Nashville, don't look too pretty today. Um, it was worse. <laughs> yeah, traffic. Uh, we like to call it now Mini Manhattan because that's exactly what Nashville is turning into. Chaotic traffic, Mini Manhattan. So I'm back. Me and Matt are back from Nashville from the surgeon's office and something wicked this way comes. It is not looking good out there at all. It's starting to rain here and you can definitely feel that the temperatures are dropping. And um, I did eat something earlier. I was so tired um, doing things with one eye. You know, there's a lot of strain on it, so you get tired. So I actually came home, took a nap, ate something real quick and took a nap. But um, my sugars were doing very well. So, yep, 86. Look at that. Stays as in the lines. Um, I'm going to have some fruit. Gonna have some more persimmon or pears, whatever seems the most ripe, so that I don't waste it. And then I'm gonna make a nice cup of tea. So now this tea I had gotten from that wildflower apothecary in Chattanooga. And this one's called an inflammation tamer. And they said it has lemon, ginger, and mint. Mmm. I'm the three of my favorite flavors for a tea. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea. And then uh, the pork is uh, thawed, but it's still early. So I'm gonna start the mashed potatoes now and uh, you know get that going. Um, I'm thinking about doing something with the squash. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Um, I do love squash soup, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for soup yet. You know what, maybe I should make a soup. You know what? Um, oh, I'll make the soup tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be really cold. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make squash soup tomorrow for lunch. Matthew has a dentist appointment at 930 in the morning. And I'm going to make the mashed potatoes. And I'll probably do two. Um, there's not a lot of regular potatoes. So I think I'm going to do sweet potato mash for me and John. And then the regular potatoes for the boys. That, <laughs> that could have ended really badly. <laughs> I'm also going to throw some of those turnips in. Not too many because I don't want it to change. Ooh, geez. I don't want it to change the flavor and then they detect it. So I'm only, it's good things these are little. So I'm only going to put in little ones. I killed it. I have had this for years. I had a party. So I got it on sale at a cheaper price. Probably even free. And it's broken. Ah, so upset. I am gonna call Pampered Chef and see if I can get it replaced for free. Cause the first one that I had actually had a crack and they replaced it. And I don't remember how long I had it and they were able to replace it. But this time it's been years. So I don't know, I'll try, but Christmas is coming and they're in gray now. I think I might like the gray color. Um, yeah, sad, sad day in my house. So here's my pantry. Um, I had that dish right over here and it's been there for like the longest time and it literally just fell on its own. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, I didn't tell you about the surgeon. So they're going to get me another surgery date, um, waiting for him to contact me back. I want to get it in November. They're going to decompress my right eye further. Um, yeah. And, oh, and I spoke to Pampered Chef, and because it's been more than three years, they can't replace it. So I would have to buy a whole new one, or if I have a party, I get 60% off. But yeah, this is my messy pantry. I really got to clean this out. That's going to be a whole project. And all that up there is all my teas. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? I love tea. Um, yeah, so I don't know what happened. It just fell. It just, yeah. I heard the crash, boom. I thought the whole shelf came down. But that thing just fell out. 
And look at all those glass jars I have down there and it didn't even touch them. I don't know what happened. It was probably one of the cats, probably. So my potatoes are boiling, getting my skillet hot. Got to pull out the ghee. This is a recipe by Sunny Anderson, Sunny Anderson called apple cider chicken. So I have made it with the chicken, which is absolutely delicious, but I've also done it with the pork tenderloin. So I have that one package of pork tenderloin, which come with two um, loins in them. And then I slice them into medallions. I took that membrane off and everything. And then you got to season it with salt and pepper and start browning it in the, uh, she says olive oil and butter. I'm using ghee. So that's what's for dinner tonight. The potatoes are done. And I kept one sweet potato. And there's the turnips. Kept one sweet potato in with the regular mashed potatoes because I'm determined to get my boys to eat stuff that they normally don't eat. So I'm mashing that. And then I got to mash that. So this thing I got from Pampered Chef. Yep, so I'm going to mash it. Add butter, milk, salt. My pork is done. It's nice and brown. And now I have two and a half apples here. Because that's what I had. Green apples to Granny Smith. And I diced them. And then I have onions. One onion. Let me get that going. And two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to chop these up real fine um, with my handy dandy slapping chopper. Um, let me get the onions in. And then you get the apples in too. So everything goes in the pan. And so let me finish that. And then I'm going to chop the garlic and then go to the next step. So the onions and the apples are getting nice and caramelized. It smells so good. I actually probably put more than what the recipe asks for because we are a family of five and I swear they make these recipes for like two people, <coughs> you know? So these are getting nice and brown and caramelized and, oops, hold on. So then you add a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt and then some thyme, which I have from my garden. I think I have some twigs in there. Jeez. But some thyme. There we go. And it asks for two bay leaves, um, but that'll be after um, you add the juice. So now you add like two heaping tablespoons of flour and I always use einkorn now because einkorn has less gluten than regular flour. It's an ancient grain so you mix that all up. I do have a lot of apples in here. Let me add one more tablespoon. There you go. Okay. Get it all coated. And then you add the apple juice. It says one and a half cups. Something like that. But I want a lot of gravy for the five of us and to top on our mashed potatoes. That might have been two cups. So now the flour that you just added is going to thicken the apple juice. It actually calls for apple cider. I had apple juice. I use Simply Apple apple juice. But all you New Yorkers and Pennsylvania, you guys will have the apple cider. So use that. So that's going to simmer and thicken. And then I'm going to add all the pork back. So then it'll just continue cooking. My mashed potatoes are done, and now I have to get a vegetable. I'm going to do a veggie blend, and then my pork is in there, and I'm adding two bay leaves. I'll get them in there somehow. Where'd my spoon go? Now i got to get a spoon. I put everything in the sink. 
I'll stick that in there, but let that simmer. And then I got to micro steam that. There's dinner. So me and John got the sweet potato mash with the pork and apple onion gravy. And the boys got regular potato mash. And the twins are sitting over there. Mine. Yours. Mine. That's dinner. Bon appetit. Tuesday morning. Wind chill of seven degrees outside. And that is the snow we got. Although our district didn't close their schools down, which I'm very, very surprised. A lot of other districts did. But pretty much this is the type of snow we get here that causes such pandemonium in this state. Half an inch. So I'm going to go make my tea. And Matthew has a dentist appointment at 9.30 that I'm going with him for. Um, with him. Yep. Snow. That's about as much as I can tolerate, actually. Me and Matt, we're going to the dentist office. Matt has a dental appointment. He has to get a crown and a veneer on his front teeth. He had uh, broken one of his teeth when he was like... 11 I think so they're finally gonna fix it permanently now that he's grown but yep this is what we woke up to I'm telling you I didn't move south enough so we're back from the dentist office <clears throat> I'm making Matthew some macaroni and cheese some soft food for his mouth they beat him up pretty badly and I'm eating a persimmon those things are good. Yep, needed some fruit in me. I was there, we were there longer than I expected. But yeah, that's gonna be lunch. And then um, maybe I'll have a little bit of macaroni and cheese with him. So I decided on leftovers from last night's dinner. And I have some lemonade here. That's simply lemon, something like that. It's a powdered mix with stevia. I found it in Publix. But that's what I'm eating for lunch. Dinner tonight is the mini ravioli from Trader Joe's with some meat sauce. And here's the mini ravioli. Um, I did give it a try. Not a fan. I think this is the one that I made years ago and I wasn't a fan of it. The tortellini I had never had. So I definitely like the tortellini better. Um, broccoli with garlic butter. Dinner tonight. There it is, plated. It's still going to be good. Just add cheese. Yep, just yep. add cheese. That's it. Hey, guys. So today is Wednesday. It's my birthday. And I made my green tea. So we're at H&M where Serene you green. bring this in from a bag of your donated Wild Dog clothes Rose. and they give you a this coupon a for 15% off your I entire found, purchase. I mean, John this found all the time in, when um, come to the mall. Louisville, Kentucky. And we went there last year. I ran out of that Savannah Recover. I'm going to check my blood. 150. All right. Need to get that down. And then we have quiche. So that's one of those abundance quiches. I made a few of them, and that was the last. That's the last one that I had in the freezer. That's the kale and feta cheese one, and onion. So me and John are gonna have now that for breakfast. Now we're and then we're going needs to the pants for his orchestra concert. There's breakfast. So me and John are gonna have breakfast. He got me a little card. And we're getting ready to go to the mall. I have that coupon to exchange for my full-size uh, perfume from the sample pack. So we're probably going to do that at Sephora and other stuff. And I got my coupon. Oh, I like First stop, Bath and Body Works. That's the first one we see. Yeah. Enjoy your day in New York. Thank you. Yes. Oh, okay. I did this in New York. So 
So me and John came back from the mall and we had a little lunch. Um, my blood sugar was 197 because I was actually picking at some of the food that they had at Willem Sonoma. They had this chocolate peppermint bark and some apple cider. And I gave insulin, but obviously not enough. So that should be going down soon. Um, but we went to JC Penny because Sean needed pants for orchestra. So got him a pair of black pants. Hopefully they fit. And then we went to Sephora, and I had that card with a free full-size sample, and so did John. But he liked this, the Versace. So he picked out the sample set, and he told me to wrap it up for Christmas. So that's a Christmas gift. And then I picked out, oh, this was a free gift I got um, for my birthday. So that was pretty cool. She goes, oh, you get a free birthday gift this month. I go, actually, today's my birthday. So I wanted to try this Drunk Elephant. I think it's like moisturizer and cleanser. So I got that for free. And then I bought this. So this is actually my birthday gift. So this one is Gucci Bloom. It reminded me of suntan lotion. It has more of a summery floral scent. So more of a daytime. And it's a roller bottle. So that was $25. So that was actually my gift. So this is like the only thing we really spent money on for my birthday. So... Happy birthday to me. This was a really nice scent. And then these were our full size. So I got the one I really wanted, which was Derek Crosby's 2 a.m. Kiss. They don't have any more. So this was my second choice, Prada Candy. So that came free with that card that we got at the sample thing um, for Christmas. And then John's free one, sorry, Yves Saint Laurent. Yep, so that was John's free one. And we're wrapping these up or just putting them in our stockings for Christmas. So those are our Christmas gifts too. Um, receipts. And then I had a $25 gift card that I had gotten for Christmas last year. And I got the Anastasia um, brow pen, the brow whiz in the dark brown. So I got that. So again, like I said, and this was like 22, so I got this with my gift card. These were free. So the only thing we paid for this was free. The only thing we paid for was that and that, and that's going to be Christmas gifts. So we're putting that away for Christmas. And then we went to, let me do this one first, Bath and Body Works. So we got a Christmas candle. Ooh. So we got the Christmas smelling candle. I think this was like, oh my God, it smells like Christmas trees. It's so good. Oh, these were those perfume things we were trying. Oh my God, Christmas trees. The fresh balsam smells so good. I had my uh, $10 off of $30 or more. And then I also, yeah, that's right. And then I bought these. We we got those, those plug-ins around the house. I got it in the laundry room and one, one by the, the house, the front door when you first walk in. What's this? Oh, that's new. All right. So anyway, I bought some of those oil fragrances to put around the house. So I'm going to do that today. I bought some cinnamon ones and apple for now. And then the Christmassy scented ones for when December comes. And then I got two um, not so holiday smelling ones for our bathroom. So um, the boys bathroom upstairs and then mine and John's bathroom. So that's what those are. So I did that. And then I went into William Sonoma. So every year at this time, they have such wonderful smelling stuff, but they had um, a recipe called pumpkin squares that you use pumpkin butter with such a great recipe you use you that's so loud you use yellow cake mix and I'm not much of a baker so when something requires yellow cake mix it makes it a lot easier can't mess it up too much nope not that one I don't want to show you that one yet so 
I needed the pumpkin butter. You require this pumpkin butter, and they tend to have a bigger size pumpkin butter, but it's usually pumpkin butter with pecans. So, of course, um, I'm a little late to the party. They didn't have any more. That was sold out. But this one, which I've never seen before, caramel pumpkin butter. So I was like, I asked her, I said, do you think I could make the, that recipe with the caramel pumpkin butter? And she's like, I don't see why not. So it should be an interesting different taste to it with the caramel, but it would go. I mean, coffee, cake, cinnamon, caramel, that all goes. So I'm going to try to make those pumpkin squares with this one. And then she said that they had two more left of the apple butter. And I said, you know what? That um, cinnamon apple butter, I said that recipe would go great with this one too. So how much was it? $12. Yeah, it's been that price for quite a while. So I'm going to try to make the same coffee cake. They call them pumpkin squares, but I call it coffee cake because um, it has that streusel on top. I'm going to make it with apple butter one time, but for Thanksgiving, I'm going to make it with this one. And then she said, we also have this stuff called pumpkin gooey, gooey bars. I thought that might be something good to try too. So I bought this one too. Yep. So I love Williams Sonoma. And then I signed up for their rewards program. I didn't know they had a rewards point program. And then I took their catalog, which is always, I love, sometimes they got some good recipes in these catalogs. So I took a catalog. But that's pretty much what I did for my birthday. So I got cologne, a perfume roller bottle. And then these are for Thanksgiving, which is always, to me, it's still a gift to me because I love cooking. So I'm going to post that. I'm going to show how to make this recipe. This They do it every year. So that's it. That was my birthday gifts. So when the boys get home from school, Michael and Sean are at school. When they get back, um, we're going to go to dinner at a pizzeria um, pasta place, a pizzeria called Amico's in Nolensville. So excited. The pizza was eh. It was okay. You know, I do live in Tennessee. Can't expect great pizza. Although, some so here we are at Amico's in Nolensville. And they are New Yorkers. It's a real but, small place. Um, Amico's was Not good, but the food all, was good. The food, the food is so really good. good. The New York style. style was good. So we're going there tonight. So I'll film there. And that's what we're doing. My for sugar's 112. So I am Hi, ready Paolo. to eat. We're going to get the Ooh, mozzarella wedges. I forgot wedges to show you what I got at Williams Sonoma. And their sauce I is really good. I got Christmas. And they give you garlic bread, which is oozing in butter. And, and it I'm kills here me with getting my Christmas favorite men in the whole Christmas wide world in November. You celebrating know that. my birthday. But when you see things and they. Mulberry um, Street, you Little get them, Italy. How but I got awesome. uh, a package of just the Christmas. New York. Love it. I love Christmas it. Christmas tree pop up sponges from Williams. And a lot of their um, they like, have names of New York. Years ago, so I always see the salad. Got up the tribeiro, the Verrazano. So I ran out. Last Christmas was my last Brooklyn, Christmas with my uh, pop up sponge. So this time they have Christmas trees and Those are all the bridges. Snowman. And I'm, I'm so getting the chicken Sicilian style, which so is So I really got that good. for Christmas. But they have just so classic December stuff. December first. Ziti, lasagna. I'm breaking one of these Fettuccine out. Alfredo. Yeah. Can't beat that. The classics. So I thought that was cute. You'd like that. So there's my meatballs with garlic bread, and I got a Caesar salad. And then that's the chicken Sicilian style. And then Matthew got Meat Lovers Pizza. See how the crust is a little different? Not, not a fan. Um, Michael got fettuccine Alfredo. Sean got a chicken Parmesan. And me and John kind of shared. Um, but he got chicken Marsala. And our dishes came with spaghetti. With the meat, the, the sauce, really good sauce. Love it. The chicken Sicilian is like chicken parmesan and eggplant parmesan together. There's my birthday tiramisu, and Matthew got the raspberry cheesecake, and Sean and Michael are sharing a chocolate cake because they're pretty full. And John got the big cannoli. <laughs> That's so bad. Happy birthday to me. How many wedges are there? There's no room Ooh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Wow. You have enough room, Matt? No. Uh, <laughs> should have. I should have. And got pizza. Ooh, that's like a close-up. Where's Michael? This is the chicken. Michael, this. 
How was it? You tried it? Yeah. Chocolate cake. That's big enough? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the ultimate canola. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, November 14th. Gonna have me some juice. A little on the low side. Probably when I went off to work and school. Gonna have me some juice. And you know what I was thinking about doing? Oh, I also have to show you what the boys gave me for my birthday yesterday. So not only did me and John go to the mall, um, the boys got me something too. So I'm thinking about taking those pumpkins. They're probably frozen out there. And I'm thinking about roasting pumpkin seeds and maybe um, cutting up the pumpkin up so that I can have to make pumpkin puree or, um, you know, save like for a pumpkin soup. Hmm. Thinking about doing that. I'm going to look online. Ooh. Sorry. Stepped on her. <laughs> going to look online and um, see if I can find what I can do with pumpkin. But this is what the boys got me for my birthday. They got me a cordless. They said they went to Walmart and they got me this cordless um, tea, water kettle. Yeah, so I don't have to keep boiling water on the stove and pouring it into the thermos. Isn't that cute? So excited. So I'm going to have some juice and um, I'm going to make tea with that. What is wrong with my voice when it does that? I'm going to make tea with that. Jeez. There's Apollo. Yeah, so I got to get my blood sugar a little up. And then I'm going to do my regular routine, yoga. Yeah, do all that fun stuff. Um, back to the regular stuff. So, yay. Move over here. Oops. And now it's on. Awesome. I love it. I finished yoga. Now I'm watching the wads. I love her. She's hysterical. Um, check my blood. Because I had juice before I did yoga. So it should be up now. 152. Not bad. So I'll give a little insulin for that. And then I have to eat something. I did take my prednisone. And then I do have a pile of mess there. Some summer dresses that I have to put away because now it's cold. And then there's some clothes that I'm not sure if I want or not. If they don't make a decent, good-looking outfit for me, then they got to go. But in the meantime, I did throw in a load of dishes before I came in here to do yoga. And I have to do laundry. So now that I'm dressed, I'm going to get that done. And I'm still going to clean up my office today. I promise this time I'm actually going to clean it. Last time I went in there to clean it, I actually made more of a mess. Started just throwing shit around everywhere. Um, and I want to see if I could do those pumpkins today. Decided to save the clothes for tomorrow. I don't feel like trying clothes on. But I took out from the freezer my last package of chicken breast from Sprouts. And I think I'm going to do... Just regular chicken cutlets tonight. And then I have that um, Greek spiral cheese bread from Trader Joe's. I still also have the Spanakopita from Trader Joe's too. So I might just throw all that in the oven um, so that we can eat that. Um, I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I think I'm going to get a piece of quiche. I had some quiche. Yeah. 
And I got to tell you, I love that thing, but I'm going to have to find a space for that somewhere in the kitchen. I got to put all the dishes away. Got to put the dishes away. So I'm going to do that. Laundry got started. So I'm just going to tackle the kitchen first and then move my way over to the office. Yeah, got to do the office. I'm doing the dishes, putting them away. I'm going to watch some YouTube. Love to get inspired with a lot of their recipes. I'm eating the last of my pears because um, they were ripe. I still have a whole bunch of persimmons. I'm going to have to eat them. I actually like them when they're more, I guess, less ripe. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to really get eating them. But I'm eating my pear. And then I wanted to make another cup of tea. No caffeine this time. This time I'm going to try this. Well, I've had it before, but pina colada hibiscus. Um, I got it at the Spices and Teas uh, shop in Chelsea Market when I went there in October to see my family. Um, I went to New York City for a couple of... <laughs> someone's calling. I went to New York City for uh, a couple of days just to see my family and stuff like that. Just me solo. I had so much fun, but I went to Chelsea Market, which is uh, where I grew up and where my family lives in Chelsea. Um, and I got this tea. I wish I would have bought more, but my brother was kind of like, hurry up, let's go. So yeah, I only got one, but it's really good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the tea, but I like it iced. So I'm going to put ice. And now I'm going to do the dishes. I swear I'm going to do the dishes. So I am hungry. This is some leftover pasta from the restaurant yesterday. And there was some leftover penne a la vodka from my house. So I just put some cheese on it. Cheese for protein. Blood sugar is 147. So I'm going to give my insulin. Oops. And I'm going to eat. And I am going to go and clean the office. So I'm going to end the video here. Not much else going on tonight. Um... I'll be making the chicken cutlet, and you'll see that in another video. But see you in the next one. Bye.